The story I'm about to tell you is not a fairy tale. Even if it talks of werewolves, the devil, and much worse still. It happened to me and my two brothers in that forsaken month of December 1858, near the village of Wolvesvale in Lower Canada. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy! Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door doors. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Did you hear that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're gonna be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? 
Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. I'll be damned. The horses are dead, and your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. The bridge to the village is burning. Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. Combat. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen, while your stamina is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. To evade enemy attacks, you can press the space bar to perform a dodge roll. St. Dan, have mercy on me! For the love of God, please help me! The Rifle To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target, or if your target is out of range. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, and you can make a headshot, causing maximum damage. Left click to fire. The amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabbit wolves around here. How many? Dozens. Hundreds, maybe. They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W. Hood Company.
fear factor. When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. If you're running low on stamina, it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Attack Management When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities the intimidating shout. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. Ah! Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. That's my brother. I turn my back for two seconds and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. They speak to me. I hear them. But especially I... I see. I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. 
Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. Damn it, I asked you to watch her. There was nothing I could do. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? You're only a man, LCR. Who's there? Who are you? But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accused her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> and that is what brings me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. Omens. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. The Wolf Trap you can walk over your wolf trap without worry. You won't set it off. A wolf trap will automatically activate when an enemy walks over it. The hanging net. The number above the net represents the amount of enemies underneath your trap. All you have to do is aim and shoot the net to bring it down on your enemies.
Detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. When you move, you make more noise. An enemy will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions like firing your rifle or shouting create a lot of noise. When an enemy hears you, a marker will appear at your feet. This marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. All enemies that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you again, he will leave the area after a short period of time, and the marker disappears. The dashed circle on your mini-map is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. Action points. It costs action points every time you place a trap. The amount of action points a trap costs to place is shown in the trap info, which appears when leaving your cursor over the icon. Some traps also cost money. To remove a trap, click on the trap removal tool, then select the trap. To remove all your traps, click on the Remove All tool, then Confirm. Traps disappear after one night, except those that cost money, which stay until used. Bonfires To light a bonfire, press E while close by. If you're standing near a lit bonfire, it will significantly increase your fear factor. If you move too far away, you lose the bonus. This icon shows how much time is left before the bonfire goes out.
My wolves found them, all three of them. They've cornered them in a cabin east of the village. Now, you have to sign this document for me. What? By signing this, you are giving me custody to all the souls of the villagers. When night falls, they will possess the beasts of the forest and transform them into werewolves that will carry out all of our orders. <laughs> out of the question! Fine. I signed under duress. I will never consent to your vile demands. Quiet, you whiner, and think of the pleasures you'll enjoy when our werewolves bring you back to the woman you desire. Also, how would you like to be appointed a cardinal in Rome? Rome? You said Rome? That is my fondest dream! to my saviors! Lord Almighty! What's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half-eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontang. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. Say, sister, don't suppose you saw Dr. Lamontang in the village? My little sister's very sick and I was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch, and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? 
The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessings? Bless me? Ah, uh, I'm all yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish.
damage last night, so I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the down tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then, if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sounds like a good deal to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. Chopping lumber. With access to the mill, you can now cut lumber for the W. Hood Company. Just click on the button to chop wood. Each time you chop wood, you receive money for your effort in exchange for action points. Action points that are lost this way are represented by the orange part of the gauge. The spike trap. The spike trap automatically triggers as soon as three enemies are standing on it. This icon represents the amount of enemies standing on your trap.
enraged. Certain enemies have a chance of turning enraged the more you attack them. Once an enemy is enraged, it's much more aggressive and is no longer affected by your fear factor. Firewalls. Use firewalls to block paths in the forest, forcing enemies to take an alternate route. If you block every available path with firewalls, enemies will sacrifice some health and go through the walls anyways. If one enemy does this, it breaks the wall allowing others through unharmed.
There's a blood moon tonight. I go to meet the ancients. Can I go with you? No, I would rather go alone. Will you be back before dawn? Perhaps. The Mikans are unpredictable. Before you go, can you tell me what this blood moon means? It's a bad omen. The invisible beast will soon come to test us. The beast that Manny Wepiquan, Josephine's mother, spoke of before leaving us? The one that will destroy our tribe? I'm not sure yet. Manny Wapkwan could have been wrong. I will have to search further. Yeah. <laughs> 